Okay. This conference will of, now be recorded. Are the water aviary? Um, as a bit a very good pictures. You definitely can click the nice pictures and share it on your social media. I'm sure you will get plenty of likes. And of course, the next will be the show that I mentioned. Uh, one will be the high flyer, the main hero pictures. You see a small boy with two birds. The birds are Toko. So during the shows, we'll be showing different uh, species of bird all the way from Asia to South America, like the hornbill. During the show, the guests have a chance to interact with the lovely birds. And the other one is the king of the sky. For people who love majestic avian, you will not miss the king of the sky show that we're going to show you the voucher, eager, their strong power and their natural behavior. Next, coming in line, I will show you a short video about the High Flyer Show. Enjoy, please. Ah, ah, ah. traveling with kids, uh, definitely you must not meet the birds of play at the Jurong Bird. This is completely free, it's included in your admission. What you need to do, you just bring your swimwear that bring your kids and join the water playground. And at the we have this uh, unique uh, dining experience called Lunch with Parrots that we offer the buffet lunch. Uh, at the same time, you will be able to up, uh, have the up close experience with the lovely parrots. Uh, right next to you and you, there will be a short during the lunch. So that will be uh, something really interesting when you visit Jurong Bird Park, must not miss. The next uh, will be River Safari. Uh, for those people might wonder uh, what's about River Safari, what's different about River Safari and the rest of the aquarium from the world. First of all, the main difference will be River Safari are only showcasing the freshwater creatures. And at the at the park itself, we are actually showcasing iconic rivers such as the Ganges River from India, the Chang Yangtze River from China, we have the Amazon River from South America. So that you can see the pictures on the right. You do not need to travel to China. At River Safari, we do house the giant panda. And further, on top of all this experience, um, if you have been to any other theme park, I'm sure rides or roller coaster ride that you may have tried before. At River Safari, we have something more interesting is we have the boat ride experience with the animals element. So next, you'll be seeing the Amazon flooded forest. This flooded forest is actually showcasing the Amazon River. Uh, for those you might not know, uh, Amazon River is the second longest river on Earth. And here have a lot, a lot of species. And from the slide, the giant, the gigantic uh, creatures is the manatee, also known as mermaid. And they are not fish, they are mammal. They are actually born, the, they, are, they, they deliver, born their baby our human and one another fun fact is only vegetables and the largest we have at river safari is up to up to one ton of course uh, beside the manatee there's a lot more creatures at the amazon flooded forest we have the giant otter and the aropaima as an extra there's a lot of creatures for you to discover at the amazon flooded forest of course, just now I mentioned that a different, different iconic river at the uh, river safari. One of the interesting, uh, as a bit you must not miss, uh, is the Mekong River Giant. Uh, if you've been to many aquariums, you might know the marine life animals usually are 
huge. Uh, same goes to the river creatures. You can see in the picture that this common giant catfish that can grow up to weigh up to 300 kilograms and up to six meter. It's really, really huge creature. And next, the highlight of the river safari is the giant panda forest. So do not need to go to China. Came to Singapore, a family of the destinations, visit river safari. You'll be able to see the lovely pair of giant panda. We have a pair male and female, male panda called Kai Kai and the female panda called Chia Chia. And this will be the interesting experience I mentioned uh, earlier on. Uh, the tickets you through Travel DMC or Get River Safari included in your package. The boat rides are included in your visit beside the general admission. So during this Amazon River Crest boat ride, around a long journey, you'll be able to discover the uh, mighty and beautiful creatures along the Amazon River side, such as the uh, Jaguar, you see in the pictures, we have the Brazilian tapir, giant editor, and a lot more animals you to discover during the boat ride. Now I'm going to show you a video, what animals that you'll be able to see during this boat, like, boat ride. Uh, hi, Clement. Uh, this is Narendra here. Unfortunately, we cannot hear the sound from the video. Oh, okay. You cannot hear the sound from the video. Is it? Let me try again. Can you can you hear the music now? Uh, no, not yet. Clementine, can can able to hear? Can you hear the music? Okay, Clementine, you can carry on. Hello, hello. Yeah, you can carry on, brother. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can. Okay, so of course, uh, two is better than one. Uh, beside the Amazon River Quest, uh, we have this uh, reservoir cruise. This is also included in the So around, uh, along this 50 right you'll be discover the what nature's wildlife at the upper Saleta reservoir of course at the river safari we will have uh, the animal shows uh, as well the ones upon a river uh, daily on this tree timing so during the show we will showcase some animals uh, natural behavior in the waters and of course the animals will live alongside the water as you can see from the main this image, the main uh, cute animals is the capybara, uh, and they're also the largest species of the rodent. Of course, after the visit, for those who travel to River Safari, uh, you must not miss uh, to visit our Mama Panda kitchens. For those who travel with kids, if your guests are going with kids, definitely need to get them to try on the top right, the panda bao. We do have two flavors, red bean and chocolate. Uh, flavor so us not miss to try out this cute looking panda mouth. next uh will be the singapore zoo and also known as as rainforest zoo uh, for those who just joined uh, or for those who missed the earlier part the singapore zoo have won a uh, two consecutive year of the top three world best zoo and the number one zoo in asia the reason being uh is 
because the entire zoo in design and the open concept uh, bit, you won't see any of our animals being kept in the cage. Our animals are living in the open concept natural design habitat that we design and we want them to enjoy their home at the Singapore. So how to start your journey or experience by visiting the zoo? I will strongly recommend you to participate in the jungle breakfast with wildlife. If your guest is going to stay three or four nights in Singapore, do opt one day, don't eat breakfast at hotel. Do come by and join us to have breakfast with this lovely orangutan. These pictures is exactly how close that you're going to have your breakfast. So the breakfast will be the international buffet breakfast, of course, with veg uh, options available for our Indian guests. And right after your breakfast, you can actually go right in front of the platform to take pictures with the lovely orangutan. And of course, you can use your own mobile phone to keep the pictures for your memory and post on your social media to show with your friends so that they will come to, come to Singapore and they will want to come to the zoo to have breakfast with these lovely uh, animals. So right after the breakfast, uh, the orangutan home, the exhibit is just next to the breakfast uh, venue so that you will be able to witness the world first free ranging orangutan as a bit. I will not explain much about what is free range. I'm going to show you the next video. You might not have issue listening the audio, but do the video, you will have an idea how big is this uh, had, uh, habitat for the orangutan and how enjoy their home at Singapore. So, of course, uh, at the zoo, we have four shows a day, uh, four different shows. Here, I'm going to highlight two uh, very interesting shows you must not miss. Uh, one is the elephant presentations. Uh, we have two sessions a day, the morning and the afternoon sessions. All these shows are also included in your admissions. Of course, uh, the breakfast just now, you have to pay uh, additionals. Um, and uh, the other uh, highlight will be the splash safari that we are showcasing the California sea lion. So you do come to our park, you get to see different regions or different country. And of course, right after shows uh, at the zoo, uh, one day we have more than token feeding sessions daily. Beside the elephant or giraffe, there is a lot more experience you can participate. Again, to highlight to your guests or visitor when they visit zoo. Remember to get a park map from I, my colleagues. The park map will list down all the available feeding sessions your guests can be participate. So at the zoo, we have this Rainforest Kids World as well, and it's also included in your admissions ticket. Again, the same thing is similar to Jurong Bird Park. You just need to bring your swimsuit that you can visit the theme park. Your kids can have fun at this uh, water playground without paying any additional. And you all know Singapore as a food uh, heaven. There's a lot of delicious food uh, at Singapore, uh, you, you may want to try out some local cuisine when you sing up, visit Singapore, like Hainanese chicken rice, um, like the laksa. For the Indian guests, uh, we do have a, very, a full variety of the Indian cuisine at this Amin restaurant. When you visit, we have the biryani, we have uh, naan, we have various of uh, Indian food that to accommodate our Indian tourists. 
The last is the most popular part for all Indian tourists and also known as the Singapore number one night spot, the night safari. So uh, very different from the three park I just uh, I explained just now, very different from zoo, very different from river safari, very different from Jurong Bird Park. Night safari only open in the evening from 7 to 12 midnight. When you visit Night Safari, uh, there is three uh, interesting components you must participate in. Uh, one is the 40 minutes exciting tram rides that you're going to see all the animals. Uh, the second will be the show components. There's two shows at the Night Safari. One is the Creatures of the Night show. This shows happen in the park itself. It's the animal shows. Another one is the Tumbuaka tribal shows, is the fire shows at the entrance before you enter night safari. And of course, if you think the tram ride and the shows is not enough to complete your visit to night safari, you must visit the walking trails that give you the up close experience to the nocturnal animals. Um, with your visit, uh, definitely we have catered the dinner options. So we do serve Indian buffet dinner every day with authentic Indian food options at our Ulu Ulu restaurants. So you can take a look of the cuisine that we have available. So this is the Tambuaka shows that I mentioned earlier. You can see the timing daily 6.45, 8, 9. On the weekends, there'll be additional show at 10. So do catch this fire show before you enter the night safari. Right after you enter night safari, uh, you'll be embarked on a 40 minutes tram ride. This tram ride will bring you to six different regions of the world. You'll be able to witness a lot of majestic nocturnal animals like what you can see, the Asian elephant. His name is Chawang. You'll be able to see hyena, lion, lion, tiger, sloth bear, a lot, a lot more animals along the journey. Of course, uh, for those Hindi speaking, we have the Maldi language tram available. In night safari and this multi-language also serve as a express tram you, as you can see there's 10 tram timing you just need to top up uh ten dollars for this multi-language you do not need to queue to enter night safari you'll be enter night safari from a separated gate and bought the tram on the uh tram stations that give you a, a seamless and VIP experience to boat the tram. And that will be the creatures of the night shows. Uh, can you imagine in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, you will be witnessing all these nocturnal animals and observing their natural behavior. And of course, being part of the shows, if you're lucky enough, you will be selected to be interacting with our animals and this will be the walking trails uh, as you can see the pictures on the uh, top left, the fishing cat trail the pictures is the real distance that you can observe our fishing cat on the right you will see a wallaby trail a leopard trail is lodge trail that's the how close you can observe all these nocturnal animals do not need to go to the safari in the Africa, come to Singapore, visit various places, come to the night safari, you'll be able to get the same experience as well. So that's about uh, for the leisure. For those who are interesting, they have a small mice group or big mice groups or any incentive groups, we have a different experience. Uh, for those who love team building, uh, our team building is definitely uh, different from the team building you had experience outside. We incorporate animals elements into all our buildings so that when you can have fun the team get bonding and they can learn more about the animals so for those who are looking of unique van to singapore be it for meeting for lunch for uh, dinner we do have this lakeview ballroom of course indian cuisine is not an easy for us, these Lakeview ballrooms, while you having your meal or your functions, you actually can oversee the Flamingo Lake right outside the ballroom. Can you imagine having your meals or having your meeting with hundreds of thousands of Flamingo? And of course, we can, for big 
a move, group movement, if you have up to 1,000, 2,000 packs, they're looking for great opportunity for taking pictures or uh, they want something interesting that they can all do together. The high flyer shows is the show that we can curate to our customer needs and fit to the uh, group's requests. At the Singapore Zoo, if you are looking for some wow uh, team uh, venue, at the Zoo, we have the Forest Lodge that we can design into a safari team. Uh, it's suitable for your event, be it your wedding, be it your conference, or be it for your gala dinner. And just now I mentioned the Amazon Flooded Forest. Uh, during the park operations hours, the Amazon Flooded Forest is a viewing habitat. When the park closed, we can convert it to a really nice and unique dining experience. Next, this is my favorite. Um, can you imagine you will have a really fine dining and high-end dining experience middle of the night at the night safari. And this is the only experience an evening in the world can provide. Before you go in for before you proceed for the dinner, we will actually bring out some cute uh, small creatures, the animals like the owl, binduro. You'll be able to interact with all these animals really, really close and enjoy a cocktails at the natural jungle. So right after your uh, interactions with the animals and the cocktails, you'll be moved in to this is fully air conditions. Uh, we can either serve a four course set meal or we can convert the menu to the Indian cuisine is up to the customer choice. And of course, if you think that the tent is not something that you are looking for, uh, at the night safari, we also have this Ulu court that you can do your welcome dinner uh, for your groups uh, when you come to Singapore. Uh, not necessary to be big minds groups. Uh, we even a uh, 20, 30 packs, we will be able to accommodate uh, based on your request as well. So that will be the certain uh, uh, MICE package. If you're interested, you can reach out to me. Uh, for education programs, if for those who are working for student groups or you have student groups, they want to go to Singapore to study more about the Singapore cultures or science, um, definitely the natural science uh, is one of the angle I would recommend to your uh, student or even family. So uh, there's total three components. The first component, be the guided tour that will be an interactive sections that engage to sensory learning that will be the whole will be conducted by my colleagues from the educations we will share the natural habit of each animals and that you get the chance to feed them to experience um, their natural behavior the next will be my favorite is the behind the scenes tours you can see the pictures on the left uh, the kids are preparing the food. Uh, this is actually the real kitchens we have at the River Safari. So that you, to join the behind the scene tour, you'll be able to prepare the food and go and feed the animals that by. On the right, you can see a lady holding a bottle. That is actually our animal hospital at the zoo. You'll be able to go into the hospital to learn about how we take care of the animals, how we treat the uh, you animals that would be really interesting and all these venue are really the places that me and my colleague working that you won't be able to see if you don't participate the tours i'm sure this is one a lifetime experience you must not miss and for those who do not want to stay in hotel or they want to get something experience uh ex something different experience uh we do have the overnight camp called sleep with the beast it's a two-day, one-night program. Uh, you get to explore the zoo. You get to have dinner at night safari. You get to have a night safari. And you can have overnight at the zoo. What a wow experience that you should come and experience. For those who are in the environment, we have another option called Sleep with Manatee. This will be the... the you will be have an overnight sleep at the river safari with fully air conditions, of course, uh, with the guided tour and behind the scenes. So it's a two day, one night program. If you have student group education tour, you are thinking how to make their itinerary interesting, do consider to put 
uh, a two day one night uh, overnight camp program with us I'm sure that your student won't be disappointed. For those who ha you have clients who are actually looking for something more interesting, more exclusive, something more personalized, uh, in all our parks, we have these signature tours, which is our VIP tour, that you get to have a personal guide, uh, feeding sessions, and behind the scene experience by yourself with my colleagues so for those who are seeking of ex, uh, exclusive experience must not miss miss the signature tour experience so that would be about the uh, sharing about the leisure the minds the educations uh, and i want to share more with you all as you know currently we only have the jurong bird park night safari uh, river safari and singapore zoo and uh, singapore zoo river safari night safari are located at the north Bird Park is located at the west, but moving forward in two years' time, the Jurong Bird Park, the current Jurong Bird Park will be closed and we will build a new Bird Park next to Night Safari. So you so you, you might not have idea what, what is going to be happen. I'm going to show you the next slide. So if you, uh, if you can see my cursor, uh, this is the current Singapore Zoo are located. River Safari will be next to the zoo and Night Safari will be next to the River Safari. And we will be building the bird park next to the night. So we host all parks under one roof. And that is only the first phase. The second phase, we were going to build the fifth park called Rainforest Park. So in the future, we will be have having five parks under one roof at Mandai. Uh, that is all the outdoor zoological uh, theme park. And we will build additional two indoor attractions. So that makes it a total seven attractions at Mandai all, uh, all together. And of course, we don't forget people will need accommodations. We already announced we will be having uh, eco accommodations by Banyan Tree. In Mandai. So next time we will have seven attractions, one hotel. And this is some of the pictures that you can have uh, visualized how this uh, new hotel or the resort will be look like. Uh, so you can see there's uh, interesting tree houses. So you can see the layout of the hotel. And if you look at the bottom pictures, uh, that is give you a view how this hotel is going to build. And on the left, that is the uh, forest floor, which is the rainforest park. That what are the animals you get the you get to chance to see while you're staying with us. So do look out when you visit us in the future. Do stay with us. Now uh, I will end my presentations with a video. Uh, this video have no sound, but you can see the video. What is the future? So this will be their new bird park.
So this will be the hotel. So New Bird Park, Zoo, Night Safari, River Safari, and Rainforest Park. So that will be the futures in years time when you come to Singapore. For those who've been to Singapore, um, it will be something really interesting uh, in the near futures. Every time you come to Singapore, I'm sure it, it gives you a different look and feel, more experience for you to discover. And thank you. That's my presentations for today. Uh, together, come to our park. We will protect wildlife. And uh, if uh, info, uh, that's email, uh, clement.tan at wrs.com.sg. If you want to ask me about any you can ask me. Uh, you want to buy a ticket, do your itinerary, look, travel DMC. Uh, that is my mobile phone. You can WhatsApp me if uh, you need anything. Um, so that's about my presentations for today. I'll hand over the mic to travel DMC uh, to contact. There's any questions anyone have? Uh, hello. We can't hear you. Yes, uh, yeah, just now the mic was muted. Okay, uh, any questions? Yes, I have a question. Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, Clement. I just wanted to confirm whether all these parks, I mean, the, they have restaurants. Do they uh, do they serve vegetarian and Jain food? Okay. Uh, I will, okay, yes. Uh, first, I will go by parks. Jurong Bird Park, yes. We have uh, Indian cuisine. Uh, we do serve veg, we do serve j, we do serve non uh, non veg. Night safari, okay. we do zoo. Yes. However, river safari because river safari is in between a zoo and a night safari. So river saf inside river safari, there's only one restaurant. So um, usually, if people go to river safari, people will not just visit. People might visit night safari or zoo. Uh, at the entrance of zoo. We do have a uh, veg and non veg options. So even uh, before you go into River Safari, you can get the food, uh, veg or gin enter River Safari. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we, we, we understand the uh, food is important for all Indian tourists. Yes. So we it's available. Okay. And all the theme parks that you yes. had showed, there were two water theme parks uh, inside yes. uh, the. Uh, zoo, zoo and, and uh, is, is it included, right? Yes, it's included uh, in the ticket, in the admissions ticket. So you don't okay. need to pay. Just need to bring your swimsuit. Okay. Then uh, experience. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, I have a question, Clement. Yes. Hello. Can yes, you hear me? I'm listening. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Ma uh, I'm Harpreet uh, from uh, Holiday and Resorts. Uh, yes. I just want to know how much time should we give to our uh, guests for visiting all these parks? Number one. Uh, how many parks? And, uh, you mean all the four parks? Sorry? Yeah, all the four parks. Yes, yes. Um, how much time uh, will I it will... take? Like, can we suggest two parks in a day or one park in a day yes. only should we suggest? Uh, I would suggest uh, two parks. Uh, in a day or maximum three parks because as you can see zoo river safari and night safari is uh, at the same locations okay so maximum you can go and do zoo river safari night safari in one day but for your guests comfortable i would suggest two park a day is the most comfortable pace uh, pacing so what can you do maybe you can do um the zoo the, the river safari plus night safari in the one uh, on the day of arrival, because uh, most of the Indian uh, India flight to Singapore is in the morning, very very early morning. Uh, what can you do? Uh, usually your city tour in the morning, then you can check in the hotel in the afternoon, two o'clock. After check in the hotel, you can freshen up, uh, then change. Then you can go River Safari because River Safari open until seven p.m. So right after River Safari, seven p.m., you can go and uh, visit. And you can eat dinner at Ulu Ulu. Our dinner serves all the way until 11 p.m. 
Then another day, you can go Jurong uh, Zoo in the morning. You can have breakfast or up to the guest. Then you can go Jurong Park. So two park in a day, the most comfortable. And uh, do check with Travel DMC. We also have the Park Hopper Plus ticket. Uh, you pay the four park tickets at the price of two. Oh, that's good. That, that was my second question that do you have a package for uh, visiting all yes, your parks or something or, or similar? We do. Park Hopper yeah. Plus. We do. You can get it from Trevor DMC. He got read as well. Oh, okay, okay. And tell me, what is the costing for uh, visiting these parks or uh, the package? Uh, costing, uh, costing, costing, we can uh, discuss later on. We have already made the packages. Uh, for the all travel agents, we already make the itineraries. So once the lockdown is open, we will surely, once we, all the traveling is started, we surely share the package with you all, you guys. Yes, yes, you can, yeah, they will uh, share uh, the package. Uh, hello, can, can, yeah, hello. Yes. Hello, you are having any Hyderabad office, you are says uh, representative here in Hyderabad? Uh, for sure, uh, no, India, Hyderabad. Uh, for travel DMC group, for travel DMC group, we will surely come uh, with every city step by step. But right now, we are having office in Singapore and uh, Delhi only. Singapore and Delhi. Okay. Yeah. What is the mode of, mode, of, mode of payments to the in Indian rupees to Delhi uh, office? Uh, 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 you can pay in INR, but rest uh, this the, the discussion we can uh, discuss on call or WhatsApp. Right now, we will discussing okay. about forest product. Yeah, uh, I have okay. one more question. Yeah, uh, is it advisable? Uh, I mean, many of our clients don't want or uh, don't wish to do. You know, they sometimes say that we don't want to wish all the parks. So, it is. Uh, is it mm -hmm. advisable to miss a night safari? Uh, because there is zoo also. So is that both similar zoo and the night safari okay. so that we can uh, advise them? So zoo and night safari, uh, the, leaf, the the animal collections are different. So um, first, uh, if you ask me, uh, because you must come in from a, a tourist uh, point of view, if I only yeah. will go to Singapore one time, right? Uh, if you ask me zoo and night safari, because uh, I will definitely ask them go night safari. Because uh, most of the guests, what I know, the Indian tourists, they will only stay three to four nights in Singapore. You see, one day you might need to uh, uh, do city to other things. Usually, the daytime uh, is very packed. If you can only choose one, of course, I want to, I want you to visit both. But if you can only choose one, uh, I would suggest to go to Night Safari um, because Night Safari. Is the only night zoo we have in the world. You wouldn't get to see any other places. Uh, and the animals that uh, actually all of our four park night safari is the largest. Night safari is the largest park. Yes. And the animal shows, the fire shows, all these are only available at night safari. And if they are generally really, really packed, two out of, uh, one out of two, uh, night safari, I would suggest that you can do it on your arrival day. Uh, do it in the night, the same night when you arrive in Singapore. Okay. That will be used to plan. Okay, thank uh, you. Hi, Clement. I, I just have a question. The You showed yes. that uh, you will have you have some tent stay and uh, other use to some stay. So how many minimum packs you require for that? You mean the overnight camp? Yeah. Uh, minimum 30. Okay. That mm. thank you. Overnight and overnight camp. It's interesting. If you have next time you got chance, uh, do come and visit us. Sure, sure. Okay, I have another question. Uh, yeah, like, yes. Like you mentioned, uh, Clement, that in the year two, uh, 22 and twenty-three, uh, all the five parks yes. will come under nearby area. So in that case. Yes. So then, uh, the, the guest can cover those parks in two days, uh, full two full days, or still again you will suggest two uh, two parks to be covered in two days and another two parks to be covered in two days. Okay. If uh, next time all the parks in together, I think three parks a day no problem because currently we have an issue is Jurong Bird Park uh, is at the other uh, in at the west of the Singapore. But next time when we have all the parks. 
together. Um, we will have connector. Uh, three parks in the day should be very. Hello. Sorry, sorry. Can can I have the questions one by one? I said that in that case, like uh, the guest is staying when there are uh, staying facilities also available. So uh, mm. uh, how far would it be? Like obviously the guest would be coming not only to attend the parks or visit the parks, mm. but he uh, would be coming to visit uh, other uh, areas or other attractions of Singapore. So it, how feasible it would be uh, for him to travel if he's staying at uh, these parks and then come to mm. visit Singapore? How feasible it would be? Okay, uh, in general, Singapore is not very big. <laughs> From one point to another <laughs> point, uh, maximum would take you only 30 minutes. If you compare to the traffic, uh, I've been to many places in India. I've been to Mumbai, I've been to uh, uh, Madura, I've been to a lot small city. I think in Singapore, it is very easy to assess from any point to any point. So, uh, be with whether staying with us uh, at the Mandai or staying at the town um, to visit, it's not really an issue. Singapore is really, really uh, very accessible. Okay. Is the behind and the scene to would you be would you be sharing yes? this PPT with us? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we will share you. We are we already having your email IDs. Uh, surely we will share the PPTs. We will surely put this uh, all the conference in YouTube also. You will share all the things on the mail. So don't take tension for this. And after oh, this, we are oh, totally, uh, distributing the certificate to all the agents who are participating in WRS. And uh, one more request, okay. WRS having the Facebook page, the wildlife reserves Singapore. You just like the page also. You will get the updates and everything, new things about the WRS. Okay, okay. Okay, Next fine. question, please. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, hi. This is Dimple from Dream Destination. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. In Singapore, you had shown some uh, Mad in Madani, Madai, uh, some new hotels are coming up. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. Sorry, I, 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 you, are, you are breaking up. Can you uh, say say it again? You say new hotels are coming up. Yes. In Mandari, right? Yeah, in Mandari, yes. New hotel, yes. Banyan Tree, okay. correct. So, yeah, Banyan Tree. What is the size of that yes. hotel? Can we accommodate three to four with kids if we go for the school Very groups? Correct. Very good question. So uh, we also know that uh, people who will visit our park, uh, be the school or be the family. So in the hotel, uh, we will have the credible room. So we will have room to accommodate four person in a room. That that's we really take into the consideration. So when the hotel built, we will have room for two. We will also have room for four. Okay. And uh, can we uh, include that uh, uh, hospital portion uh, in that? Uh, Two day group behind the yes, yes. So yeah. that is a behind the scene uh, uh, that you can go and visit our people. Uh, that will be uh, very, very interesting for and you. you and I'm sure the rest of the zoo go. They won't. They won't allow you to see the hospital. But we are very confident to show what we do uh, and uh, how we work. And it is really. You can't get the experience. Go behind the a scene. Go back. Go to the back office to see how my doctor and the veterinarian uh, colleague working. Okay, we'll be in touch. Sure. Thank you. Next please. Hello. Yes. Uh, Hello. yeah. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the thing is for the education programs, uh, I can send a group of uh, like 100, 200 uh, students. Yes, you can. Uh, so uh, we have different program. Uh, so based on your group size, uh, we will suggest you a different program that's suitable for your groups. Okay. And how about the hotels? Hotels are available for the groups. Sorry? Hotels how are available what? for the groups. Um, our hotel is not built yet. Uh, it's on the pipeline. 
But if you have school group want to come to Singapore, we can provide you the experience. Travel DMC will be able to help you uh, with the hotel portions. They were able to help you to find the hotel to accommodate your school group. One, two hundred packs to find a good hotel in Singapore is not an issue. Okay, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Next question, please. Hello. Yes. Yes, good afternoon. Any more questions? Hello. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, uh, can you guide us? What is the uh, precaution for the COVID-19 for the uh -huh. team pack? Okay. Uh, in terms, okay, in terms of the COVID-19, uh, if you are following the news, Singapore is undergoing the circuit breaker uh, which means all the businesses all the businesses is closed as of now so first of june uh, we yeah, are uh, yeah. experiencing a similar lockdown like uh, what india are implements uh, prior to this prior to the circuit breaker all the team park are, have actually um, implemented a very strict and stringent uh, policy uh, for the for the guests to visit our park so all guests before entering our park uh, temperature will be taken. Uh, then they are they need to scan a QR code to um the uh, left their uh, what did you say your uh, their identifications and their contact details. And if uh, after the COVID nineteen uh, case gets stabilized, if you come to Singapore, you when you visit hotel or attractions or restaurant, uh, our park. Uh, especially, uh, we actually get the SG clean certification from the government, which means we sanitize our park frequently. Uh, we make sure social distancing and we make sure our park are uh, uh, safe to visit. Okay, okay. Because the thing is that uh, the client are thinking about the COVID protection right now, so it's very different to Indian market. Mm, I understand. Uh, I think. Uh, everywhere is everyone is uh, very cautious. Uh, that's why most of the country on earth or in the world are and uh, is either under lockdown, or partial lockdown. So I think everyone try to contain. And when things get normal, when the uh, get right, normal, I think this should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Thank you, thank you. Sir. Uh, Clement and I really thank you to joining us. At the end, I just want to say uh, that COVID-19 has placed the tourism industry under impasse financial strait. But yes, we, we need to channel our energy uh, towards innovative like this. Uh, we are doing webinar, exchanging our knowledge and skill. Yes, I, I, I think totally the problems such as current situation are not a stop sign. But we yes. need to prepare us and make us stronger. So we need to stay positive and be ready with new ideas to bounce back. But right now, our priority I, I, has to safeguarding everyone against COVID and care for each other. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. A very good uh, comment. I think now, I think everyone, uh, I think the virus have made us all united. The virus would not care whether you are a Chinese, you are Indian, or the, the, the virus don't care about race. The virus don't care about nationality. Uh, we all have to work together uh, to stay to stay through the storm. Uh, I always believe the rainbow uh, will appear after the rain. So we all just need to equip ourselves with the skill and the tour tourism industry open back again. We, we can have a good year. We can have a really good year to rebound. In the time the lockdown is going on, I just want to say stay home, stay safe. And uh, yes, I think the PPT and all the knowledge of the WRS product we will share you on your email IDs. We will put on the yes. YouTube channels. You can see each and everything on that. Any question, my number is already there. Our team number is already in my mail. Climate and number, if you need, I can share with you if you want to discuss direct thing directly. It's already sure. showing on the PPT right now, also. He's on WhatsApp. You can ask anything. So I am surely we will uh, bounce back again. But right we now I am again saying our priority has to safeguarding everyone against COVID-19 and care for each other for this 
we need to be at stay home stay safe sure hello. sure thank you hello uh, sir yes hi ajna yeah uh, hi i have a very uh, small question i just want to know uh, which is the best time to visit singapore um in general every time is best we can say every time is best to visit singapore singapore have no four season from january to december every month is a good time to visit singapore okay and when the singapore country is going to open and is it now uh, under the covid so when it will be properly open so we can send our clients for the covid everyone is you know india is already locked down singapore Hello. is already locked down we, our government every government is fighting against the covid so once it's open once everyone is safe and we once the government think everything is under control then we we'll surely fly again we we'll should uh, surely stay again and we we'll surely enjoy again okay fine thank you because i know all industries are reeling but it's a tourism industry sector that has been most given all the border closure travel restriction and lockdown airline closure operator attraction and hotel are seeing intent effect of the covid 19 hello hello yes mr sarav yeah uh, in your presentation you mentioned that uh, you know uh, you provide breakfast uh, uh, at the uh, night in at the uh, this bird park right so long bird park no breakfast at the zoo lunch at the bird park oh, uh, so you provide breakfast at the zoo and bird park both Uh, no breakfast at the zoo lunch at the bird park okay breakfast at the zoo so uh, do you have any kind of a uh, package you know tour package which in uh, gives inclusion of breakfast so i can provide to my client yeah we we do have all the packages we already made the itineraries once everything is settled before then we can share all the itineraries and all the packages with all the agents all the co-partners okay fine thank you okay uh, clement and we are going to stop the meeting i really thank you all the agents and especially to you to give us a uh, time to present no to problem us. thank you all the agents okay i am and i really thank you all the agents thank you so much ashikal namaskar bye adab thank you everyone stay safe thank and you. i see you thank you uh, thank you Singapore. thank you bye bye thank, thank you, you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye everyone from Pakistan.